prosper. You shall succeed. You shall be the head and not the tail. You shall run and never be weary. We don't serve a dead God. We serve a living God. In the same yesterday. In the same today. In the same forever. Can you give the Lord a shout? I'm seeing production. Yes, man. You are directing. The one you did, we did it in 2015. Yes, man. Ah! And then the movie is called New. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, sir. When the oil is upon your life, anything you touch has work. When the oil comes upon a man, demons cannot stay in your house. When the oil comes upon a man, poverty cannot stay in your heart. Isaiah chapter 20, verse 27. By the anointing, every yoke shall be broken. By the anointing, every yoke shall be destroyed. When the oil comes upon a man, what people do, it doesn't work. He will do the same thing. It shall begin to work for you because you are not dead. You are an anointed man. Sweet Spirit of God Feel at home in me Oh, you firm that I love you And I will love you forever God here. Prayer palace, we are blessed. I feel God here. I feel God here. Thank you. I just anointed in the house. Precious one, my name is Prophet Emmanuel J. I am super excited to come your way one more time. Psalm 118 verse 24, the Bible says, This is the day the Lord has made, therefore we must rejoice and be glad in it. I am always humbled, I am always excited to come your home. I am always excited to be a blessing unto many lives. Ladies and gentlemen, today God is going to do something miraculous. Just do me a favor by calling a friend. Text a brother, what's up, a brother? And tell them Prophet Emmanuel J is live. And I know something extraordinary is going to happen. God was so gracious to us in our last night of restoration. There were many miracles, many signs and wonders that happened. And people came in from Koforudia. People came in from the Volta region. People came in from outside Ghana. All those who were able to come in, God bless you so much. And I pray that God will sustain you. I pray that whatever God has started, he will complete. God bless you so much. Let's continue with what we started last week. Remember I said David went into the presence of God and he recovered all what he has lost. Now I took time to talk to you about the presence of God. We did not finish. We're going to continue. Today we are quoting Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4 verse 1. 
I read. And Jesus began to teach by the seaside. And there was, there was gathered unto him a great multitude, so that he entered into a ship. So you see, so Jesus entered into a ship. When I say the presence of God, I'm talking about God himself appearing in man. Don't forget, Jesus was a representative of God on the earth. Jesus said, if you see me, you have seen my father. So Jesus represents God. So he is the presence of God on the earth. And the Bible says, Mark chapter 4, verse 1, he entered into a boat. So the presence of God gets into a boat. Ladies and gentlemen, in your business, you need the presence of God. In your marriage, you need the presence of God. What do you have in your hand that lacks the presence of God? As a man of God, what makes me different is the presence of God. As a businessman, what will make you different is the presence of God. Peter was fortunate to bring him into his boat. And don't forget, when he got into his boat, he had so much catch, as I told you last week. Today, I'm going to talk to you about what happens to you if you carry Jesus in your boat. If you carry the presence of God in your boat, what happened? Mark chapter 4, verse 1. When he got into his boat and after preaching, the Bible said they carried him along and the journey began. So let's go to Mark 4, 36. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. So you see, they took him as they were in the ship and the journey began. Now Mark chapter uh, 4 verse 37, and the storm arose and hit the boat that was carrying Jesus. So here you realize that the storms began to hit the boat that carried Jesus. The first thing that happens to you if you have the presence of God is that storms will hit you. The presence of God attracts problems. Ladies and gentlemen, the fact that you are born again does not mean you have no issues in life. In fact, the first step to become born again is problems hitting you on your face. Are you understanding me? It is very, very imperative. Sometimes somebody tells you, if you become born again, all your problems are solved. Come to me and all your sickness will be gone. Listen to me, because when you become born again, the first thing that you go through are problems. Bible says we are earthly vessels carrying heavenly things. We are earthly vessels carrying heavenly things. So there's always contraction. Go to the mining center. Anywhere there's money, anywhere there's gold, there's always contention there. Anywhere the presence of God is, there are problems. So you, the first step to become born again is to go through pain, is to go through issues, is to go through calamity. Things get rough because when you were not born again, there were things you were doing, you cannot do them again. You used to go around, sleep around, and then you get money all over. You can do over invoicing and under invoicing. But when you become born again, you don't do all those things again. So the first step to accept Christ as your Lord and personal Savior is to go through issues. But the good news is that they are not permanent. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17. I want to read this one. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17. What the Bible says, If for, for our light affliction, that means they are affliction, but they are light. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment. So you see, what you go through is not permanent. Though you go through, but it's for a moment, and it's not permanent. And what did he say? Worked for us for exceedingly and eternal weight of glory. So it is all working together for our elevation. Psalm 34 verse 19. He said, many are the afflictions of the righteous. So, it is not the unbeliever that goes through affliction. He said, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver the righteous from it all. Psalm 30 verse 19 says, weeping may endure for a night. <laughs> weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. 
Proverbs 24, 16 will tell you, the righteous shall fall seven times. But there is a good news. He shall rise up again. I pray for somebody who is listening to me. You are going through a lot. You are going through pain. You say, when I accepted Christ as my Lord and personal Savior, things are getting rougher and rougher. I am here to tell you, it is for a moment. God is about to surprise you. Uh, can I prophesy to somebody, tomorrow about this time, whatever you are going through, because you carry the presence of God, you shall never go down. I pray for you. Ah, weeping or endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Your issues are coming to an end. The problems are coming to an end. I love you so, so, so very much. Ah, I feel a very strong anointing in the studio. Listen to me carefully. God will surprise you in Jesus' mighty name. Let me quickly take you to the service and I will come back and pray with you. I know that something has entered into your house. I'm going to pray for you and that sickness will disappear. The pain will disappear. The shame will never come back again. Stay tuned. Let's what God God did at the prayer palace and I'll pray with you. I am in a place in the water region. <laughs> It's not any of these people. The person is there. It's called Bri, Briwanisa or something. Briwana Swasa. Briwaniase. Who is that? Briwaniase in the water. I am there. Oh, yeah. If you are from Briwanuasia, come here. I am going places. <laughs> come on, give the Lord a shot. Give the Lord a shot. My Jesus, you are worthy to be praised. Oh, my Jesus, you are worthy to be praised. Oh, my Jesus, you are worthy to be praised. Oh, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Where are you from? Brewin. Your hometown. Brewinase. Is it a crow? This beautiful lady has suffered too much. God carried me to that village in the Volta region, and somebody has carried her womb, pounding. You're one out there. Listen, do you sometimes feel pain at your abdomen? Are you sure? Yeah, anytime. How, how often? Anytime. Anytime you have your menses. Shum. <laughs> My dear, you are supposed to marry a very prominent person in life. Very prominent person. But as they pound your womb, if we don't pray for you, it will scare away men. Because what I see in the realm of the spirit is that anybody who you date, and the thing is going to get to somewhere, the spirit will reveal itself to the person and warn the person to stay away from you. There was a deliverance I did in Cote d'Ivoire, 2008 or so. I picked a lady and I told the lady that God is speaking to me. That anybody who comes into your life, the spirit, a spirit gets to the guy's house and beats the guy physically. Yes, in Cote d'Ivoire. The girl burst into tears. We took two hours to deliver her. Mama, you are blessed. All right? Don't cry. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's your name. What's your name? Blessing. I thought you clap your hand for Jesus. Sure. God pulled your file. And I saw 2022. She'll be a millionaire. Blessing. This will be your last cry, okay? I'm hearing a name, but I don't know whether it's your name. Like Enne. Enne. Helen. Enna. Helen. Helen. What's that? Huh? Your cousin. Mm. 
God says is visiting both of you. You are very close, right? You are close with her. What you are going through, do you know she's going through the same thing? She's crying. Shoo. May God remember you. Pick him up. Listen, do you know there's a call of God on your life? Why are you running away from God? I was scared. Why are you scared? When I laid my hand on him, he was saying, I'm a genesis. And God said, I've called him. He knows. But he's fine. running away. I'm fine. Listen, if, you, if you're not careful, you will hurt yourself. You cannot run away from God. Hmm? Don't try. It will complicate your case. Your means said to him. Hmm? That's why you're running. Your mother made a covenant to the Lord. When you were born, exactly three days after you were born, your mother knelt before you and dedicated you to him. She told, she told me. Maggots. You know maggots? Good, good, good. I saw maggot leaving her palm. I saw maggot leaving her palm. Uh, can I prophesy? Yes. I, I saw maggot leaving her palm. And I asked myself that why is maggot leaving her palm? And God spoke to me specifically that in some eye apro, like the, 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 the hands are rotten. And I said, God, but the hands are not rotten. Say yes. The meaning of the hands rotten does means anything she does will not work. This woman has suffered. Pa. You have suffered. Sometimes what you even eat is a problem. Tell me I'm lying. I'll stop prophesying. No, that's true, sir. If, if, <laughs> listen, you have beg and beg and beg. Don't cry. You have beg and beg and beg and beg and beg and beg. Now you cannot beg again. You cannot borrow again, right? True or false? Because the, your problem is that I'm seeing maggots. 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 And the problem is that the maggot is coming from Imo. Imo. Imo, Imo state. Yes. What is that? <laughs> you are from Imo state. If I'm from Imo, then I'm speaking to Judith. Yes. You are Judith. Yes. Judith. Imo, Imo, Roka. Roka. Oh, can you clap your hand for Jesus? If you clap your hand, may God also remember you. Come on, let's go. My restorer, my life giver, lift your voice. You are the living God. Come on, sing it. Is there no one? Pick it up. Mama. Your sorrow and your pains are over. Watch me. This woman has gone to a point that she is even considering suicide. Because I'm tired. Listen, don't ever think you have suffered though. People are suffering. This woman here, as she's in Ghana here, 
Even soap to bath is a problem. You are telling me, Jesus. Mama, is it true? Is it true? I want us to bless you, okay? I want us to bless you. Because after this prophecy, I don't want you to go home hungry. Because as you are talking, you are hungry. Even to what, what you eat today, you don't have. True or false? <laughs> Charlie, let's bless this woman. If you have anything you can use to bless her, bring it to me, quick. Anything, if you have 10 gana, 5 gana, 20 gana, let's bless her. Let's at least do something for her. Alright? Drop it, drop it at her feet. Let her collect it home. Because as I'm seeing, otherwise she, she will die. Because she's, she's considering suicide. The little you can give to her, give it to her, let her go and get some food to eat. Mm. Somebody help me sing. Pour it, Mama. Collect it's your money. Collect. Pour, pour. Oh, you never ever change. some food to eat hmm? for the first time hey. you eat rice chicken God. I thought you clap your hand for Jesus what do you say your parents of all you will never run cry amen you saw everything I did not. I was praying that God should remember me. And He did remember me. I told God that if you don't show yourself within this weekend, I will kill myself. Did you hear that? <laughs> you, you will never run dry again. This problem is over. Clap your hand for Jesus. Go so papira, go si papira, go ma solo rovira. Ibe, go so papira, go si papira, go ma solo rovira. Precious one, I'm always humbled. Amos 3, 7 will tell you, he will do nothing unless he reveals it to his servant, the prophet. God is still in the miracle business. And I pray that you shall believe in the prophetic ministry so that God will touch you at the very point of your need. The fact that you don't believe does not mean it does not exist. The fact that you don't know America does not mean America is not in existence. Give it a try. Precious one, give God a try. He will speak to you. 
one day I'll spend time talking to you about the prophetic ministry again. And you will understand that God is still raising mighty prophet in this end time. Somebody tells me that if I come to your meeting, I don't want to be in the camera, I'm shy. I'm camera shy. I don't want anybody to see or hear my case. When the enemy was disgracing you, all I saw. And if God wants to honor you, why are you shy? Anyway, when you go to the hospital, you're not shy. You're not going to the shrine. You are coming to Jesus. I want to invite you to our lunch, our prayer that happens every Wednesday. This particular Wednesday is on an exemption from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. this afternoon. And your life will never and ever be the same. There's a very powerful prophetic direction for this very particular Wednesday. I am praying on water. Get me a bottle of water, you know, get me a bottle of water. I'm going to pray specifically on healing for people. There are many who are sick. Listen to me carefully. I'm going to pray on the water and you drink and every sickness in your body will disappear. Prophets operate in prophetic directions. And this is what God has told me for this very particular Wednesday. Come in your life will never be the same. Now, I want to introduce my latest book to you. I'm also a writer, my customized helper. Everybody is a candidate to help, but not everybody is for you. There are people God has destined for you. Just call the numbers on the screen and we can ship one to you wherever you are in the world. Listen, I want, to, I want you to call us and I will pray with you. The numbers on the screen, 0271803000 and 0552522622. Now do me a favor, anybody watching me right now, if you have your phone, pick up your phone. Go on Instagram, look for Prophet Emmanuel J. Follow me and then receive my daily update and my daily prayer points. Also follow me on Facebook, Prophet Emmanuel J, and your life will never be the same. Finally, I cannot end this broadcast. This is my favorite point, where I give you the chance to give your life to Christ. Listen, Jesus is real. He's still alive. If you need evidence, what you saw is the evidence. If you want to accept him as your Lord and personal Savior, say this short prayer right after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I accept you. As my Lord and personal Savior. Come stay in my heart. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want us to meet at the prayer palace in any of our meetings. Wednesdays, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Saturdays, we have war zone. At 6 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Sunday, we have double service. In the morning, it's 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. And in the evening, it's 6 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. First Friday of every month is our watch night service. We call it Night of Restoration. This particular one is happening on the 7th of June, 2019. God bless you so much. I'm waiting for your call. Call me and I'll speak into your life and I'll prophesy to you. God bless you. My name still remains Prophet Emmanuel J. Watch me again this time, this station, next week. God bless you. Bye-bye.